Good day gamers, welcome to New By Design. Gonna be doing a video here today on Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm gonna show you guys how to pick up all the Final Fantasy 15 loot from Assassin's Creed Origins here. That's gonna be the Ultima Blade, the Zurich Shield, and the Q Mount, which is basically like a Chocobo Mount from Final Fantasy. You can see it's gonna start here with the a Gift from the Gods side quest here, which is just gonna be kind of southwest of Memphis. Let's go ahead and speed up play as we work our way to this kind of green looking quest start or side quest start here and we'll go ahead and do that here you can see essentially how this is going to start is with a cutscene this is the only cutscene i'm going to show you guys the other cutscene is freaking epic like it is just incredible so i don't want to spoil that for you but i will go ahead and show you guys how to complete the quest how to get access to the area the final fantasy 15 cross play area there and you can see it's just going to be east of this fast travel and southwest of memphis or southwest of hugoro's hideout here so let's go ahead and go ahead and start this here so essentially it's going to automatically queue as soon as you get here it's going to say basically it looks like there's something that's shattered into this area here or opened up that doorway there and it's essentially a fall a fallen star that fell from the sky or whatever it is we're going to go ahead and work our way into this temple here nothing too complex about this part it's actually the other part that ends up being a little bit more complex you can see essentially this right here is kind of like a map showing what it is and basically it's like a totem or whatever you want to call it a pillar with three sub pillars at the one three and five area here you can see that it does say that the xv is important and the reason it's important is because this is the cross play or cross promotion that assassin's creed origins has with final fantasy 15 and you know guys i tried a lot of different things with this and then happened to notice this little stack of arrows over here which seemed really random anyhow i kind of put two and two together and realized that you actually have to shoot the different totems and that's how you activate them and you know guys as well you can see that this is basically the area that we're looking at it's just the problem that they did is they inverted the map upside down so it's kind of a little bit confusing but if you just kind of flip the map around you'll be able to figure out where it is this is where we picked it up here you can see the totem or the map area is just to the northeast of it we've got memphis over here so just southwest of memphis again same area as we picked up the quest is where you'll find this totem anyhow guys again the one five is important because it's 15 so we're going to go ahead and shoot a total sum of 15 we're going to start with the one work our way over to the three here that's four then we'll go ahead and hit the five making so far a total of nine after we get this here let's go ahead and shoot it we're at nine here right now so now to get to 15 we're gonna have to add one more over here to make it 10 after we get that we're gonna have to go ahead and add another five so let's go ahead and shoot the five again and that should activate it boom that activates it so then again it's just kind of playing into that cross promotion that they have with final fantasy 15 xv is roman numerals for 15 obviously and you know guys now that we've got it active it's shooting beams of light into the sky here again this is going to be the cutscene i'm not going to ruin for you guys because this cutscene is epic you guys have to go ahead and try this out it is really cool i'm not going to ruin it for you but i will go ahead and show you guys the loot that you get again we're just walking right into here and then as soon as you do this it activates a pretty long quest you've seen a small snip of it at the front of it there and then we're going to go ahead and get our q mount which is a kokobo our zidra shield and our ultimate blade regular sword let's go run out here speed up play because i'm stoked i want to show you guys this and check it out myself you can see here we've got the q which is it looks a lot like a chocobo from final fantasy pretty epic mount i'm probably going to use this one non-stop just because i think it's so awesome looks like it's already equipped the ultima blade for us as well as the shield right here we've got the zurich shield already equipped as well so let's go ahead and check out the zurich shield first it's 93 quality 903 hp level 3 range resistance level 3 damage absorption rate and bleeding on block this is going to be an epic shield just you know what just for the look of this i love it and i'll probably never take it off and let's go ahead and check out the ultimate blade which is a legendary regular sword level 3 critical hit rate level 3 adrenaline regeneration and health on critical nothing wrong with these at all guys look pretty sweet and it looks like when you swing them as well they kind of glow give off this silvery or whitish kind of glow which is pretty cool and it looks like it happens on the shield and and the sword not really fitting for the time frame of this game or at least the weapons don't really make sense for because these are kind of futuristic but man they look cool and i'll still use them anyway they look awesome taking a look at the chocobo mount 
not quite as cool as I thought it was going to be. It's basically like a camel or a camel that's been reskinned, but it is still pretty epic. I'll probably still use this as my only mount now, just because it's so awesome. Love to add the feathers and everything to it, but a little bit disappointed that it's got four legs and it's essentially a camel that's been uh, basically dressed up. Anyhow, anyway, gamers, if you guys enjoyed this video, I sure appreciate if you guys had hit that like button. If you guys are struggling with anything in Assassin's Creed Origins and just want a hand with it, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. I'll see if I can hook you guys up with the video to help you out. All right, gamers, thanks for watching.